Hey everyone, and welcome back to a totally normal Backrooms video. From that one kid named Brugly, you read the title right. Why am I doing this, bro? But this video is a thank you all very much video for 200,000 subscribers. And I am just speechless. I have no words, but all I can say is thank you very much for this insane support. I cannot believe that over 200,000 people have clicked subscribe in six short months of Brugly existing. That's insane to me. On January 1st of this year, I posted on the community tab and I said that my end of the year goal was 100,000 subscribers on Brugly and 15 million channel views. The Brugly channel is at 200,000 subscribers and 30 million channel views. I, I cannot believe it. Just thank you all very much for this opportunity. This is my dream job. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Th this fandom and this fan base that, that we've made here at Brugly is just insane. And we're just getting started. I, I don't even know what to predict now for the end of the year goal. So I'm just not going to predict anything. I'm just going to vibe and let it happen. Who knows? We might be at 500k. I don't even know. It's crazy. Thank you so much for the support you've given me. I'm grateful for every single one of you. Thank you for commenting, interacting with me on Discord, liking the videos. It's, it's just all thanks to you. And I genuinely appreciate all of you. Now, with all this sappy stuff out of the way, let's dive into uh, this crazy video for lack of a better word which is five backrooms entities that i would date <sighs> here we go also sub to my second channel because i just uploaded part one of the brugly iceberg it's pretty lit go check it out now obviously a disclaimer for this video it's all jokes people don't take anything seriously i'm just goofing around for 200k subs relax so before making this video, I scoured the entire Backrooms Wikidot for any entities that I could possibly imagine dating, based off of their written description, how they're supposed to behave, and if they want to rip my head off or not. And I gotta say, the pickings were indeed slim, but I was able to find five of them that I think might suffice. And those are the ones that I'm going to be talking about today in this video. So coming in fifth place for this magnificent video is Entity 193, AKA Cindy. Now hear me out for a second, hear me out. Cindy's base appearance is a robot looking thing and she is described as being very friendly and reserved, which are pretty nice qualities, right? But what Cindy can do that I'm interested in is that she can change her appearance to look like someone from real life that you like have a crush on or that you, you know, are in love with. The Wikidot even says that she can look like your first love. So, I mean, that's a pretty good deal, right? When Cindy is in robot form, she seems nice and chill, but she can also look like someone that you might actually like from real life. Pretty good way to start off the list. Wonder where in the world we could go from here. Next up in the fourth spot, I put wretches. Wait, 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 wait. Don't freak out. I know what you're saying, but I think I found a loophole in this logic. Here's the deal. What if I'm dating someone in real life and we both get sent to the back rooms and then she turns into a wretch, but somehow I find a way to cure her, like using super almond water, for instance, or something like that. Wouldn't she technically still be a wretch or she was a wretch at one point? So doesn't that technically mean that you could date a wretch? No. Okay. I don't know, man. Maybe there's like a female wretch or something that aren't insane. Maybe I... I don't know. Why am I doing this video? Now, for third place, I have Carnies, and this is actually the first real humanish entity on the list. And the Wikidot says Carnies can be any gender, so there's that. And there's also a ton of different types of them. Apparently, you can have tall ones, shorter ones, balloon ones. Most of them are way taller than normal people, but that works out because I have a thing for tall girls who are dressed up like clowns. <laughs> no, I don't. Also, Carnies can juggle manifest pies and make hand puppets. And they're all really strong and can lift up to 500 pounds with one arm. So, I mean, they got a bunch of talents and they're strong and they can be any gender. So, sign me up for real. 
I'm going to be real with you. Second place is a pretty obvious one. It's facelings. I mean, these things can be relatively normal humanoids, right? Surely? Maybe? If you're on level 11, I know they can because they have the level 11 effect where they act like humans from real life. So, I mean, technically, I could meet a nice faceling and be pretty happy. Gosh, why did I make this video? I mean, they'd be kind of scary, though. Like, imagine coming home from a long day at work on level 11 and just walking around the corner and seeing this thing standing in the hallway staring at you. And then you're like, oh, hey, Melissa. And for the coveted first place, I gotta go with the entity called Beta. Now, hear me out, because I didn't hear anything about this entity until I was looking, but the description... It's kind of vague, and it's kind of cool, but the picture on the page seems like Beta can manifest itself as a girl, and from what I can tell, a pretty attractive girl. And it literally says under the picture, I miss you already. So it sounds like she's the one that wants me, right? Oh, and under the behavior section in the listing, the first sentence is, I want to bring eternal love and peace to those who enter my domain. So to me, it sounds like she's pretty caring and empathetic and wholesome. Definitely dating material. And she's also a philosopher, bro. I mean, just listen to this quote from her. When life gives you lemons, turn those lemons into your paradise. We love a thinker around here, right? We, we, we enjoy that. What am I doing? What has this turned into? <laughs> So now that the five are over with, I do have one honorable mention that I didn't put on the list, but I want to tell you about, and it's the mother entity. Because who doesn't like mothers, am I right? So yeah, that was... <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was the five backrooms entities that I would quote-unquote date. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a joke, not serious at all, and I just wanted to goof around a little for this 200k subscriber special. Thank you all so much. I, like I said, I just cannot fathom that we're, we're at this milestone. We're growing so fast, and I just cannot believe it. Like, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who supported me. It literally means the world. Here's to hitting many more milestones. The Brugley Summer Spectacular is less than a month away now, and I'm super excited for y'all to see it because I'm going to be going over levels 13 through 50 over the months of May and June, and that's 37 videos, 37 individual videos, 37 in two months, which is going to be cool, and I'm excited for it. I hope you are too. Go check the description below for any links you might want, and please go check out my second channel, Tugly. I just uploaded the first video, the Brugley Ice and there's some other story times on there. I'm posting bangers regularly, several times a week on there. So go check that out. It's a good time. We're aiming for 50k subs on there by the end of the year. Go help me reach the goal. Thank you so much for coming here and uh, watching to the end of the video. If you've watched here, just comment. Brugley is love. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, that is it for this video, this monstrosity of a video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the next video where I'll be going over another backrooms level. It's a pretty cool one. I'm not going to lie. Peace.